What if technology could help blind people see again? What if we could send signals to specific parts of the brain and spinal cord to help paralyzed people move their limbs with enough strength to walk, run, and even lift weights? How cool would it be to operate your smartphone simply by blinking your eyes? In this video, we will look at the exciting implantable chip being developed by Elon Musk's Neuralink and the crazy ways it can change your life. If you've ever fantasized about being a cyborg, this video will show you how that can be possible. With the progression of brain machine technology, humans can better interact with technology around them, effectively becoming cyborgs. It sounds straight out of fiction, but it's real. In fact, with the vision of enabling people with paralysis to directly use their neural activity to operate computers and mobile devices with speed and ease, Neuralink plans to start testing their brain machine interface technology on humans in 2023. How cool is that? A brain machine interface, or BMI, refers to any device that enables us to control a machine using our brain. BMI is not a new concept. The National Science Foundation awarded a grant to University of California researcher Jacques Vidal in the 1970s to study BMIs. Vidal published a paper in 1973 which was the first appearance of BMIs in science literature. But what is the concept behind BMIs? You see, we have an abundance of neurons throughout our brains. These neurons are individual nerve cells joined to one another by dendrites and axons. Our neurons are actively engaged whenever we think, act, feel, or recall something. Scientists have several ways to measure the activity of neurons in the brain, but the most common of these methods are electroencephalograph, or EEG. The EEG is a group of electrodes attached to the scalp to read brain signals. However, because the skull restricts the electrical signals, a sizable portion of the signal coming out of our brain gets distorted. The essential working principle is the same regardless of where the electrodes are placed. They detect minute variations in voltage between neurons and then the signal is amplified and filtered. Magnetic Resonance Image, or MRI. This is a large, intricate machine. Although MRI produces high-resolution images, we are unable to use them in permanent or semi-permanent ways. It was used by researchers to establish standards for a particular brain activity or to illustrate the location in the brain where electrodes should be inserted to test a particular function. There are many companies actively researching BMI technology, but perhaps the most notable of them is Neuralink. Neuralink Corporation was founded in 2016 by Elon Musk and a team of seven scientists, including Max Hodak. Its present CEO is Jared Birchall. The earliest employees were professionals in fields including neuroscience, biochemistry, and robotics. In April 2017, Neuralink declared that its short-term goal was to create devices to treat severe brain disorders with the long-term objective of human improvement, sometimes known as transhumanism. Musk claimed that the science fiction concept of Neuralace in the fictional world of Ian M. Banks' The Culture was a part of what sparked his interest in the subject. He also stated that the long-term goal was to create a symbiosis with artificial intelligence. The company has been developing a chip, N1, that would be implanted in the brain of humans to enable us to control technology with our minds. There have been multiple versions of the chip throughout its development stage. A previous version was a bean-shaped device that would sit behind the ear. However, the scientists were not pleased with the design. According to Musk, it was complex and you still wouldn't look totally normal, you would have a thing behind your ear. So we've simplified this to something that is about the size of a large coin and it goes in your skull. This new version would sit on a coin-sized portion of the skull, making it physically unnoticeable. It can also be charged wirelessly, which is important because no one wants to sit for hours with a cable attached to the back of their head. Musk described the new version as kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. This prototype is called version 0.9. It is implanted into the brain with 1,024 tiny thread-like electrodes linked to it. The chip could make it possible for people with neurological disorders to operate electronic devices like computers or phones with their thoughts. In addition, Musk claims that it can treat neurological conditions like memory loss, hearing loss, blindness, paralysis, depression, and brain injury. The brain is a sensitive organ, and neurosurgeons must train for years to be able to safely perform surgeries on it. Neuralink wanted to greatly minimize the possibility of error in implementing the chip, so instead of human surgeons, they developed a surgical robot called R1. The R1 robot has been programmed to safely implant the chip into the brain. Both the R1 robot and the N1 chip were designed by US design studio, Woke Studios. Neuralink presented the R1, together with the chip, at their show and tell event on November 30th, 2022. Speaking on the R1, Musk said, we ultimately want this robot to do essentially the entire surgery, so everything from incision, removing the skull, inserting electrodes, placing the device, and then closing things up. 
we want to have a fully automated system. Without general anesthesia, the robot could attach the link in under an hour. The patient could leave the hospital on the same day. While human tests wouldn't start until later this year, Neuralink has been testing their chip on animals. In the show and tell event, Musk presented a group of pigs to the viewers. Every time an animal touched something with its snout, the implant transmitted live impulses from the animal's brain. One of the pigs received an implant two months prior, and another pig received two Neuralink implants, proving that you can have more than one chip in your head at once. A third pig was implant-free, but you couldn't tell the pigs apart just by looking. To demonstrate that the process is reversible without having any negative effects, Musk also displayed a pig that had a chip placed into its brain in the past, but Neuralink subsequently had it removed. Companies plan to use BMI to achieve great feats in the future. Some of these include helping people with disorders of consciousness, such as people in a coma or a vegetative state, helping neurosurgeons identify functional parts of their patients' brains when performing surgeries, and helping people who have lost the ability to move certain parts of their body recover their motor skills. Neuralink is no different from the other big dreamers in the largely uncharted territory of BMIs. They have already applied for permission from the Food and Drug Administration to start conducting human clinical studies for their implant. These trials could start sometime in 2023. According to Musk, one of the first practical uses for Neuralink's device might be to help blind individuals regain their vision or paralyze people regain their ability to move. He further claimed that the early applications of this technology would enable a person who is paralyzed to communicate with a computer by using brain impulses to control the mouse and type. Similar to its past show-and-tell presentations, last year's event was primarily intended to be a recruitment drive. Musk stated that he is now looking for a variety of positions as it moves from concept to product. To attract new members of staff, Musk claimed that Neuralink doesn't require knowledge of biology or how the brain functions because many of the same abilities that are required to make a smartwatch or modern phone operate are really required to make Neuralink work. With the great promises of Neuralink and other BMI research companies, it is no surprise that some naysayers are speaking against the concept and the negative effects it can have on humans. These are not just negative propaganda, but they could be genuine concerns for when BMI tech like Neuralink's N1 chip hits the market. Some of the issues being considered are Experts praise the chip's wireless design as being beneficial for animal testing. However, as soon as the testing involved monkeys, complaints of animal mistreatment started to surface. According to the American Animal Rights Organization Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine PCRM, only 7 of the 23 monkeys owned by Neuralink have made it through the testing procedure. As of February 2022, PCRM officially complained about Neuralink to the U.S. Department of Agriculture for mistreating animals and conducting intrusive testing. However, Neuralink has denied these accusations and maintains that it treats the animals it works with humanely. Neuralink promises that its chip can trigger activity in parts of the brain, such as the parts responsible for sight and movement of the body. This could be effective for people for persons recuperating from mental health disorders without the need for counseling or medication. But the chip could also be capable of triggering activity in the part of the brain responsible for violence and aggression. This means people could start fights in a situation that normally wouldn't trigger any form of violence. Imagine being able to master certain skills in football by stimulating parts of the brain. How about using the chip to study for an exam and remembering more than you normally would? These could be possible in the long run with the help of BMI devices. This sounds fantastic, but then you consider the price. According to Elon Musk, the price would start high, then reduce until it's only a few thousand dollars. But even at the low price, only the rich would be able to afford one. This means that the rich would potentially get smarter and stronger than the poor and the average earners. This might sound ridiculous to you or perhaps a great plot for sci-fi stories, but there is the danger that the Neuralink chips could be hacked, giving the hacker access to our brains. The primary benefit of Neuralink's technology is the capacity to control objects with your mind. But this may be dangerous because hackers can use it to convince people to transfer funds or perhaps make them vote for the hacker's preferred candidate in an election. According to Musk, there would also be a Neuralink app. What would happen if a person downloaded a copycat app? While it could give hope to the blind or paralyzed, Neuralink's BMI implant may be dangerous if the researchers and users are not careful. How eager are you to get a cool new N1 chip attached to your brain? What would you do with your new BMI superpowers? Let us know in the comments section below.